only eat airport food for an entire day? Challenge accepted. Now, at first, I thought I was going to be stuck drinking water and eating on crustables for an entire day. But luckily, I was flying out of LA, so my options were a bit bougier than that. For my first meal, I had a fresh squeezed orange juice and a croissant from Earth Cafe. I then had a 12 count of Chick fil A nuggets and went to this candy store where I bought some overpriced gummy bears. I then completely lost my mind when I found a Sprinkles cupcake ATM inside of my terminal. Whenever I use one of these, I love to think about my grandparents and wonder what would they think if they just saw me getting a cupcake out of an ATM in the middle of an airport. I then got a Jimmy John's and a Jamba Juice and now I'm glad that I packed light because my stomach's feeling a little heavy. Only eat my favorite childhood candy for an entire day? Challenge accepted. Now when I think of childhood candy, I obviously think of Halloween. And ever since I was younger, I've been very particular about what kind of candy I will eat. And it really comes down to three different type of lollipops. First up is the classic Tootsie Pop. Not only is this lollipop filled with Tootsie Roll, but it's also filled with so many memories for me. Next up is the Charm Blow Pop. Now these were always my favorite because after you finish a lollipop, you have the bubble gum in the middle. Last but not least is the Caramel Apple Pop. This lollipop is so special because it has the filling on the outside. These three lollipops are filled with such tradition that they have such a special place in my heart. I know during Halloween there's a lot of candies out there, but for me there's no other candy besides a Tootsie Roll Pop, a Blow Pop, and a Caramel Apple Pop. Only eat foods that have 10 letters for an entire day? Challenge accepted. Now I'll be honest, I went to the store and thought this challenge was gonna be a walk in the park. I counted 10 letters in cornflakes and ginger ale and had myself a nice balanced breakfast. But this is where the story takes a turn. I then spent the next two hours walking up and down the aisles of the grocery store trying to find any food that had 10 letters. It was looking like my only options were going to be mozzarella or jelly beans. And of course the only other thing that had 10 letters were strawberry, blackberry, watermelon, or cantaloupe. But I don't eat fruit so I was stuck. And that's when the genius idea hit me. So I went and had a salad and a pizza. Go to McDonald's and only order things that start with A, E, I, O, and U. I want to ask why, but instead I'll say challenge accepted. Now this challenge started pretty easy because I was able to get an egg McMuffin and an ice pumpkin macchiato. But once the breakfast menu went away, things got a lot more complicated. My options were rather limited, so I had to get pretty creative. My meal consisted of an Americano and an iced coffee along with an apple fritter and an apple pie. I then felt like I needed something a little bit more hearty, so I channeled my my inner Albert Einstein as I invented one of the greatest things in the world. An ice cream oatmeal. You know what they say, when life hands you vowels, you make vowel aid. Only eat foods you see advertised on billboards for an entire day? Challenge accepted. To make this challenge happen, I spent the entire day in my car driving around LA trying to find something to eat. My first success was this billboard, so I got myself a burrito and chips for breakfast. For lunch, I managed to find this beautiful wall of vegan hamburgers, so I got myself a vegan hamburger. For dinner, I enjoyed some sushi on Sunset Boulevard underneath this massive Postmates advertisement. And finally, for dessert, I used this cacti billboard to have myself a cactus. After today, I've officially decided that my biggest goal in life is to have my face on a billboard. And once that happens, I'll retire. Go to a restaurant and only order foods that have four syllables. I'm gonna have to first remind myself what a syllable is, but then challenge accepted. Cinnamon roll. Mm. Chicken nuggets. Potato chip. Macaroni. Granola bar. Watermelon. Only eat foods that start with the letter X for an entire day. I'll be honest, I don't know if this is possible, but maybe if I channel this guy. Oh my God, he on X Games mode. Then challenge accepted. Now I honestly thought I was just gonna be stuck digging through alphabet crackers, trying to find the letter X and maybe eating xanthan gum. But then I realized I just needed to get more creative. So I had a xylocarp cupcake and a banana because banana in Chinese is this word. Now obviously I don't eat fruit, so I didn't actually eat the banana, but I went and got some banana bread. I then searched all of LA to find a restaurant that actually started with an X where I ordered their salad that also started with an X. At this point I felt like I had exhausted all of my options but I was still hungry so I made myself an X or a sandwich. And now I think it's official, I'm definitely on X Games mode. 
only eat foods with unusual names for an entire day? Challenge accepted. To kick off this unusual challenge, I turned to my Instagram stories to ask my followers for some help. The top requested response was Rocky Mountain Oyster, which I had never heard of, but after a quick Google search, I learned that they are bull testicles. And that was going to be a no from me, dog. The second most requested response was a kumquat, which required me to call about 13 different grocery stores seeing if anyone had them. You guys have kumquats in stock? It was at this point I really just needed to move on to some other unusual names, so I got some Ladyfingers, some Baba Ganoush, and the most unusual name of them all, this one. I have no idea how to pronounce this word, but I learned it was a German sausage. And just like me, it's unusual. Only eat food in alphabetical order, but backwards? Challenge accepted. Okay, to begin I had a zucchini muffin, yogurt, extra crispy toast, waffle, vanilla bean frappuccino, and a ube tea. I then had a sushi roll, quesadilla, pizza, oyster, nachos, and macaroons. I followed this with lemonade, kettle corn, jerky, and an icy. I then had a hot dog, gummy bears, fries, and espresso. And ended the day with a donut covered in cinnamon and bacon. Now I need a break.